season is here live from the Bryce Jordan Center tonight coming up on Big Ten Plus at 7 o'clock it's the Penn State Nittany Lions and Winthrop Eagles to kick off the 2022-2023 season as we welcome you into our exclusive coverage of this here live on our pregame show Brian Tripp joined by the 41-year voice of Nittany Lion basketball, Steve Jones. We'll have exclusive interviews with Micah Shrewsbury and Jalen Pickett coming up as well here on our programming. But so much excitement, Steve, going into year number two of the Micah Shrewsbury era. Eight new players on this team to talk about. I think six of the eight have a good chance of playing tonight. Uh, but you, when you bring back a Jalen Pickett who runs the show, that's exciting. Miles Dredd takes his fifth year. Seth Lundy's an outstanding all-around player. Dalian Johnson certainly showed a lot yet last year as well. Caleb Dorsey's a guy to watch. Caleb is going to be a guy I think you may see very quickly in the game, like maybe the opening tip. Adding into that deep and experienced backcourt, a couple of transfers in Cameron Winter from Drexel, Andrew Funk from Bucknell as well. It's a really deep backcourt that Micah has to work with this year. I know he's excited about what he can do with the different personnel this season too. Winter can play either one or two. A two-time first team all CAA selection, and as a sophomore, he was second team. That didn't satisfy him. Now look, he's going to have to be a guy that has to understand what his role is in all this. We all know when Pickett's out on the floor, it's his ball. But you want to be able to take the pressure off a guy like Pickett and take him off the ball where it's not as exhausting. Winner can do that. Funk out of Bucknell, really a smart player. Brian, you put him in the corner, that three, while not automatic, is a high percentage shot for him. And not only that, he is smart. He gets concepts quickly. He's the kind of guy that knows the scouting report. So if you're a guy that wants to go left, he already shades himself a half step over. He'll make the team better. And he's someone that averaged over 17 points per game last year at Bucknell. He was such a focal point of the offense. He's also someone the roles are a little bit different when you step onto the floor with a guy like Jalen Pickett leading the backcourt. Well, these guys also want to do what Jalen Pickett did last year, and that is I want to step up in competition to show everybody how good I really am. Jalen Pickett did that last year. Cam Winter and Andrew Funk are two that are taking the same attitude. We're Big Ten players, and we're going to show it. As you can see, the Penn State Nittany Lions taking the court here at the Bryce Jordan Center. 
center for warm-ups. And Steve, we didn't even get into what is the highest ranked recruiting class in Penn State program history, a consensus top 30 class by every major recruiting service, and a class that Keba Jai leads they're very high on. Keba Jai is a guy that right away I think they can get him into the lineup and he's going to play and I think he'll end up playing really well. Jameel Brown is obviously a four-star guy out of Philadelphia. He'll get into the mix here. Kanye Clary out of Virginia Beach. Lightning quick. Big Ten body. May not be the biggest in stature along the way. I think he'll do well with them as well. Evan Mahaffey is a really good all-around game. Can rebound. A very good passer. Good shooter along the way. And Demetrius Lilly rounds out this group. Well, certainly it's a different way to build a program here in 2022-2023. Transfer portal. You're trying to set that foundation though. And this seems like a foundational class for Mike to hear his first full class. Well, he's done it with five freshmen. And then he's mixed in transfers along the way. This is not Hey, let's bring in eight transfers and away we go. Yeah. No, he wants to build it the old-fashioned way. Takes a little longer to do it, but the results are better. Well, we talked about the personnel. Because the personnel is different now, how will that change the way they want to play? They're a great defensive team last year at a slower tempo. Now that they feel like they have a little more offense, they'll probably speed it up a bit. Well, they can speed it up and they can shoot the three. This is a good three-point shooting team. It's going to make a big difference. They can go at varying paces. That makes a big difference. Last year, they were about 64 points a game in that range. This team will probably clear 70 points a game. It'll be a very entertaining product. And what do you look for on night number one against one of the teams that every year is one of the top mid-majors in the country? Well, Akumba, by the way, who's uh, one of the key guys for them, tore his ACL. Yep. He's out for the year. Hightower's the guy to look at, and Claxon's the other guy to look at. But their depth is a little bit suspect because of the injuries they suffered in the preseason. So that really is went through a team that won 23 games last year and made it to the conference championship game of the Big South where Longwood finally beat them. You can see the Nittany Lions warming up on the court now. Steve's got to go do radio. 41st year he's working with the great Dick Girardi again this year on the Penn State Sports Network. Can't wait for your call. All season long here double dipping this week a little basketball and football. It's the greatest time of the year. Steve really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks Brian. Steve Jones the great play-by-play -play voice of the Penn State Nittany Lions joining us here on our pregame show tonight. Penn State getting set to take on Winthrop to kick off the 2022 2023 campaign, year number two of the Micah Shrewsbury era. And I had a chance to talk with the Nittany Lion head coach moments ago after shoot around. Coach, you get an opportunity to see your team play against an opponent under the lights tonight. What are you looking forward to learning about them? Wow, um, a lot, hopefully. Um, you know, we're just anxious to play. We're excited to play. We want to see different people. Uh, but I want to see how we can execute on both ends. And Having a bunch of older guys, I think that's something that you look forward to. There's a little bit of nervousness uh, for everybody, no matter how long you've been co playing college basketball. But I think those guys will settle in pretty early and hopefully get us off to a good start offensively and defensively. You mentioned seeing different people. Where do you feel like your rotations are at? I know you have an idea going in, but how's that going to change as the game goes on? That's the, uh, I guess that's the old Mike Tyson lines, right? Like everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Uh, you know, I have ideas of how we want to rotate and what we want to do, uh, but we'll see it. We'll play it, you know, I'll play it by ear a little bit, see how guys match up together, see, you know, if there's a guy that's supposed to be coming out, if he's playing well, keep him in a little bit longer. So um, we'll do it by feel and trust our guys and, and uh, let them kind of decide how long they can stay in. Winthrop's been one of the best mid-major programs. What kind of challenges do they present? Yeah, just a great challenge, right? An older group, an established program. I think that's the biggest thing you expect to win when you're at a program like that. So I don't think they're going to be intimidated at all, right? They've played against really good teams. They've beaten really good teams. Uh, so we're going to have to be sharp. We're going to have to be on top of our game. And uh, we're going to need, you know, we're going to need this crowd to really push us tonight. What will your message be to the guys when they leave the locker room tonight? Just be ready. Have fun. Enjoy this, right? We've been just grinding um, all summer, all fall, and now we get a chance to get out here and, and do it for real. So um, no pressure, only the pressure that we put on ourselves. So go have fun, enjoy like what you're doing, enjoy celebrating with your teammates, and uh, let's give these fans something to cheer for. Coach, thanks. Good luck. Thank you. 
Terrific energy here at the Bryce Jordan Center. Take a look at Demetrius Lilly, one of the freshmen, a part of this very talented freshman class for Penn State as the Nittany Lions warm up prior to their home opener and season opener taking on Winthrop. Winthrop last year 23-9, and 14-2 in the Big South out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Ishan Jagiashi there trying to close out on the perimeter. Nittany Lions attempting to knock down some shots pregame. A team that loves to shoot the ball, especially that guy. Senior guard Andrew Funk, one of the captains, averaged over 17 points per game last year at Bucknell, had a terrific four-year career for the Bison. Comes about an hour west here to Happy Valley this year. Mikey Hen, also a transfer into the Penn State program, 6'8 forward. He's been all over the place. Hen began his career at UC Davis, played at Cal Baptist, Portland, and Denver, and now is a member of the Penn State Nittany Lions as they get their handles ready here on this Monday from Happy Valley, Penn State taking on Winthrop. So we just talked about that very talented freshman class. Let's take a look at one of the best freshman class ever assembled here, and it's by Micah Shrewsbury. It's the highest ranked recruiting class in program history, a consensus top 30 class by all major recruiting services. It's headlined by number three, Kevin Jai, forward 6'10", 237 out of Centerville, Ohio, an ESPN top 100 recruit, the first since Tony Carr in 2016, who will be in attendance here tonight, and the number two highest rated Penn State prospect in program history. A four-star recruit, Mahaffey, Lilly, Brown, Clary, a very talented freshman class that lays a great foundation and has great senior leadership to learn from, particularly in the backcourt. This is a dangerous Penn State backcourt. Six upperclassmen, look at those numbers, over 6,000 career points, 2,000 rebounds, 1,600 career assists. Jalen Pickett, the guy who leads the way, Seth Lundy, a great defender to go along with all that production. Cameron Winter and Andrew Funk again. Talent coming into the program. Winter, the transfer from Drexel, Funk coming in from Bucknell, a very, very deep Penn State backcourt led by Jalen Pickett, who I caught up with just moments ago. Jalen, finally an opportunity to get out here and play in front of fans with a team I know you're excited about. How excited are you about tonight? Very excited. I mean, we had two really good scrimmages, and you know we're coming in with an older group, but a lot of young freshmen, and you know a lot of hungry players who shoot a lot of threes, and you know we love each other, so we're gonna come out here with a great intensity tonight. You mentioned that you're a hungry team and you're gonna shoot a lot of threes. What kind of identity do you think your team has this year? Uh, definitely the gritty, not pretty identity. Um, we're gonna come out on defense and really get after people, and then on offense, we're just gonna try and move it as much as we can to find the best open shot for our team. I know you've learned a lot going through those scrimmages, but what are you looking forward to learning about your team as you go under the bright lights tonight for the first time against a different opponent? Uh, basically just how well we react. You know, we're going to have fans out here, so, you know, to see how well we gel together as a team and, you know, to see this is the first game to see how well we are at the end of the year. What do you want to show the fans individually? <laughs> I want to show them that I'm an improved shooter, you know, and, you know, I'm an improved leader. Jalen, thanks so much. I know your mom's going to be here tonight. Have fun. Thank you so much. Back here live at the Bryce Jordan Center ahead of the 2022-2023 Penn State basketball season opener. Joined now by Madison Miller, part of our talent team here on GoPSUSports.com. And Madison, so much excitement here. The vibe is high. And oh yeah, the student section has a different location this year too. Yes, Brian. So the student section is the first time in this history that they will be moving and sitting behind the players' benches. And the Legion of Blue, they have a long history here at Penn State. In 2003, they were founded by a student here and they ended up changing their name in 2007 to be Nittany Nation. In 2015, they had a rebranding phase where they were called Legion of Blue and that was a play on Legion of Boom, the mid-2010 Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks defense's name, which I thought was pretty fun. What I like what Coach Shrewsbury has done over this past year is how he's really connected the fans to the team. And I feel like this doesn't really happen in college sports, having that relationship. Um, last week, they had a team dinner where several of the team came out and they sat with the Legion of the Blue members to facilitate those kind of relationships. Two weeks ago, they had the True Slam and Jamma where over 200 Penn State students and Legion of Blue members came out, got some pizza, took some pictures with the team and shot some hoops. So it's a really interesting relationship that this fan culture has here with the Penn State Nittany Lions. And as you can see, just under 30 minutes to tip off. They are already packed here tonight. The Legion of Blue ready to make some noise. Behind the benches, it's going to be intimidating this year for those visiting teams like Winthrop as they come in to the Bryce Jordan Center. So Madison, really appreciate it. Great insight there from the nitwits to the Legion of Blue. Yes. Thank <laughs> really you, appreciate Brian. it. Madison Miller, a part of our talent team here on GoPSUSports.com joining us. And they'll be making noise all season long as Penn State warms up on the floor.
ahead of the season opener here tonight at the BJC. They kick it off with Winthrop, then three straight home games here. Loyola, Maryland later this week, and Butler coming up the Gavit tip-off games next Monday, a big non-conference game. Fans, mark these dates on your calendar. Big 10 play actually begins on the 7th of December against the Michigan State Spartans. Tomorrow's an important day for Penn State basketball fans as well. Tickets go on sale for the Penn State Purdue game coming up in Philadelphia on January 8th. It's at the Palestro. Should be a great environment there. Tickets on sale tomorrow. You can check your inboxes and go PSUsports.com for more information. Penn State and Purdue at the Palestra. While we have a moment, we should also recognize and say congratulations to Erica Dombach and the Penn State women's soccer team the 2022 2022 Big Ten Tournament Champions. They win their ninth Big Ten Tournament Championship and last night they got back late hoisting the hardware but in Columbus they beat Michigan State 3-2. Had to come from behind early in that one. Ali Schlegel a couple of go-ahead goals. The last one holds and what's a 3-2 Penn State win to win the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Back here courtside along with Zach Gershman now from our talent team as well. And Zach, not only is it a new look for the student section this year, it's a new look for the team out there on the court as they have new blue and white jerseys this season. Yes, they do. Everybody likes getting some new jerseys. You look good, you feel good, you play good. And that's what Michael Shrewsbury has been preaching. Respecting the past and representing the future. It's all in the details. And while the team has their warm-ups on right now, you can see with the shorts, you get a little preview you have that blue stripe, the iconic Penn State blue stripe they have going up the sleeves and down the shorts. Also on the shorts, they have the PSU logo, uh, PSU written out on it on top of the Keystone symbol with Penn State being Pennsylvania's number one team. And there's some font differences. The jerseys are better fit. And ultimately, you look good, you feel good, you play good. Zach, I know that you've been involved, as Madison was just here talking about the student section before. You've been all over the place for our talent team this year at Nittanyville, at soccer games, at Pagula Ice Arena. The energy here in the Jordan Center is electric tonight for this home opener. It definitely is, and some of my favorite moments of being a Penn State student were with the Legion of Blue here. My freshman year when this team was on the cusp before the pandemic hit of making it to the NCAA tournament were some of the highlights that I've had here as a Penn State student. The energy right now, even before tip-off, the student section on the new side is starting to fill up. It's, it's really cool to see as a senior, uh, seeing the side switch and seeing the fans still coming out. Well, the only two guys remaining from that team, Seth Bundy and Miles Dredd, they're excited. They have some consistency in the coaching staff this year. They're excited for a big year. Zach, appreciate the insight on the new kits Penn State's got this year. Great stuff as always. Thanks, Brian. Zach appreciate Gershman it. Zach Gershman joining us here on our Penn State men's basketball pregame show ahead of the Nittany Lions and Eagles coming up on Big Ten Plus at 7 o'clock. I'll have the call along with Preston Shoemaker as Penn State gets set to kick off a new season. Three straight home games. It begins tonight. Should be a terrific, terrific campaign ahead for Micah Shrewsbury entering year number two. Great work by Ross Woomer as always producing our pregame show. We appreciate you tuning in. If you're watching, please comment. Let us know where you're watching from tonight and what you can't wait to see here at the Jordan Center in this 2022-2023 season. 70 degrees outside in State College today. Action's going to be hot inside. Should be a terrific team. There's associate head coach Adam Fisher out there with the team warming up. Grady Eifert as Penn State gets set to take on Winthrop to kick off a new year here tonight. But appreciate everyone tuning in. This has been exclusive coverage of Penn State basketball from the BJC ahead of the Nittany Lions and Winthrop. We'll talk to you coming up on Big at 10 Plus for the broadcast. I'll have the call along with Preston Shoemaker. You can also join Steve Jones in year number 41 on the radio with Dick Girardi tonight on the Penn State Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.